Okay, friends, in today's video, we got Bishop Patrick Wooden. Patrick Wooden rebukes Pastor Jamal Bryant. Oh, man. You're going to love this man. If you don't know him, well, you get to know him. Jamal Bryant, and uh, he went and visited a LBGTQ affirming church. That is an oxymoronic statement, if there has ever been one. There are no teachings of Christ that endorses homosexuality, lesbianism, transgenderism, or any of those things. So then how can you be an LBGTQ church? So he goes to that gathering place. Uh, he said that he wanted to apologize on behalf of pastors who may have hurt them. Why do pastors do this all the time? I am here because the black church owes this community an apology. Oh my goodness. And, uh, Why do we have to always apologize? Apologize for what exactly? Apologize for yourself. I wanted to come tonight uh, not just uh, as pastor of New Birth. I wanted to come for the pastors who have hurt you. Let's start right there and see enough. The, the zebra color coat and the next guy, I guess they're married to each other. And so he's down there apologizing on behalf of pastors. You do not speak for me. <laughs> you don't speak for me either. You do not speak for us. No, you don't. There's something wrong with Atlanta. Every, every, just, Lord have mercy. Something wrong. It's, we got to pray against that principality that's set over that city. And, uh, and you young men, I hope you saw how them young sister boys were shouting. So you know not to shout like that. Lest I come and correct you in the middle of your dance. Hold it. Let me show you how to shout right. Y'all don't like me today. <laughs> um, not only that, but show where he teaches another gospel. Mm -hmm. Stuff that was applicable for your grandmother means nothing to you. For me to tell 16-year-olds to be celibate is one thing. A 37-year-old who's used to getting some, I need a different kind of gospel. All right, stop. stop, stop. No. The gospel does not need to be modified to appease a sinful culture. We got to stop doing that. The culture needs to fall in line with the principles of the gospel. We ought not to change the gospel because of where the culture is. I understand. We can speak from the perspective of the culture, we can address them, meet them where they are. But we cannot change the gospel, though. The gospel remains the same. That's deceptive. Stop so the right church there. ain't just stop right there. Now, right there. For the first lie he told was that what was true for one generation mm -hmm. is not true for another. When the Bible says God's truth endureth. To all generations. Yeah. Number one, God's truth. Psalms 100 and verse 5, the last clause, endureth to all generations. Mm -hmm. So, what was true yesterday is still true today. It's true today. Correct. Now, I do give him credit for telling the truth in it. He said, that's another gospel. Exactly. Now, let's get. Let's give him a hand because that's true. Because that ain't the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's some made up junk. And Paul said that, that if they come any other way with another gospel, Paul said it is not the gospel. The, the true gospel teaches everybody to live holy, mm -hmm. to live right. He has a tremendous con uh, congregation who amens all that stuff. Same preacher who said his church. 
uh, will grow, will use the property to grow cannabis. Mm -mm. These things <laughs> we can't unite under. Mm -mm. You can't say, well, he's a brother and I'm a brother, man. The two brothers all to work together. Come with brothers, brother. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother, man. Brother, nothing. Mm -mm. We're not brothers in that regard. No, no, ain't no can't tell you at all. We ain't got nothing in common. Not at all. Because that's not right. Mm -hmm. This is the same preacher one Sunday while preaching in favor mm -hmm. Abortion. of a woman's right to choose. Mm -hmm. On that same Sunday, they had a, ch a christening, a child dedicating. I remember that. I, I did a video about this. <laughs> service, And people brought their children up to be dedicated by that preacher. He's advocating for the abortion of children, and at the same on the same day, he had a baby a baby dedication. I was like, "Oh, come on, bro, come on, man!" Preacher just got through preaching in favor of abortion. You gonna let those hands dedicate your child? See, it's things like this that you don't want to have to deal with. But here's the problem for those who are not pastors. I don't know what it's like when it comes to you, but when you are a leader, for the leader to say nothing, indifference is an endorsement. Mm. The assumption is if we don't say anything about it, then we go along with it. Well, I don't want nobody to misunderstand, misunderstand Patrick Wooden. Patrick Wooden doesn't go along with that at all because it's not Bible. Simple as that. Even though God is calling for unity in the body, but you can't just have unity. It has to be unity built on, on truth. truth. Well done. Well done. Let me read to you from the scripture. Um, let me read to you from the scripture who this man is. Pastor Jamal Bryant. I don't have much respect for his ministry. There's a whole history of adultery as well that I think I don't go into somebody's dirty business because we all have our past and so on. But when you're in ministry, you're still doing these things. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Yeah, um, but anyway, let me leave that matter alone. Um, here is the problem that we are dealing with right now is that someone is going to come to you, the Apostle Paul says, if anybody comes to you um, and preach another gospel that we have not preached, you get it? They preach to you, they give you another spirit, or they preach another gospel that we have not preached, which is not accepted, you might as well, you might well bear with him. That's a problem. A lot of these ministers are preaching what exactly what he mentioned here, another gospel. And they also have another spirit. Not just that, another Jesus. Did you see it? So there is a fake Jesus. There is a fake spirit. There is a fake gospel. So who is it coming from? It's coming from these apostles who positioned themselves as the apostles of Christ, or we can say these ministers, for they are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing that his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. So we shouldn't be shocked by this. Jesus already warned us. Paul warned us that false apostles, deceitful workers, were going to come acting like they are of the Lord. And it's not hard to, dif to differentiate from the truth and error. Once they stop preaching the truth of the Bible, the clear understanding biblical truth, and they start compromising their position for whatever it might be, you found one. Um, once you look at the way they live and what they support in a culture, you find one. They're supporting stuff that are clearly going against scripture. There it is. 
You look at the lifestyle, you see how they treat their wives, their children, they're having children out of wedlock all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> you're finding one. You don't have to look hard, look hard for it, man. Another Jesus, another spirit, another gospel. And a lot of them are on the pulpit preaching things that they ought not to be preaching. They should be in the pews, sitting down to be preached to. But again, people can listen to whoever they want to listen to. And I'm not sure what the men's ministry is. I'm pretty sure he's got a big followers and so on. And he's got a big following and people probably believe in everything that he teaches. But Mr. Jamal Bryant, I don't. I'm not moved by his ministry. I'm not moved by his messages. But again, you know what? To each his own, right? At the end of the day. But I love what uh, Patrick Wooden just did here. I think the exposure was needed. Definitely needed. Anyway, friends, like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Check out this video. Have a good one. Bye.